Right, we just set up our game development company. We need to make games. Any ideas? Well, Fred, some of us worked at Roblox and Try On Worlds, so we're thinking of an MMO RPG where the player explores a vast amount of content. I quite enjoy that idea, Russell. Does anyone else have any more ideas? Well, I was looking online, and there's this game called Dreams coming out in a year or two, and it lets the users make their own games, like Roblox does as well. This would land us right inside what is popular. It will make us rich. Genius, Dan. Now what about the visual style? Yes, Fred. There's a game called Fortnite that's currently making a ton of money, and I was thinking that we could make it look like that. Dan, Russell, you are geniuses. Get developing it right away. I'm going to call this core. It will be great. And is it great? Well, yes, but I think they should hold back on the Makers Rich part for now, so stick around. Be warned that this game is still in alpha and is subject to change. Well, what is Core? Core is a game development and game playing platform, very similar to Roblox, which I don't think is a coincidence, as the company, Manticore Games, has at least one member that's worked for Roblox. Roblox is a popular game aimed at children where they can explore various games made by the community, which is also pretty much the exact same as Core, funny enough. Manticore Games also has people who've worked at Tram Worlds, another big MMO game studio, and I think they definitely have some combined experience in making games for this genre. I feel that this game certainly has potential, not only as a game platform, but also as an engine, which is surprisingly easy to learn and also very powerful, making it pretty good for getting children into game development as well. Anyway, on to what I think about it as a game platform. I played a few of the games, and bear in mind, this is alpha and people have not had much time to put stuff together. There was two major problems with pretty much every game I found, being that if they were multiplayer, there was nobody playing them, so I couldn't tr try out a heavily promoted part of the game. Even the most popular game, Core Royale, didn't have enough players to start a match, and little did I know, that would be the only human interaction I'd get for the rest of my multiplayer playtime. Every other game was completely empty, and so I got rather bored. Again, keep in mind that this is the alpha, so when the game opens up more and more people should be playing it, and I think they're trying to solve this at the moment by advertising the game. My other problem was the surprising lack of depth in most games that weren't made by the developers. Most of them were just clones of the same gun or sniper system, and it got rather repetitive. Some games though, I enjoyed quite a lot. One was rather high effort marble platformer game, where you had to navigate through various obstacles to get to the end of a level, which I found particularly engaging. I feel that when the community properly gets their hands around this, plenty of cool and fun games will be out for people to play with their friends. Now onto the graphics of this game, which I personally really like. The lighting in particular is stunning, and I'd expect no less, as the game's built on Unreal Engine 4, an engine known for its great graphical quality. The colours are really bright, like Fortnite, as I said in my intro. I feel like they may have slightly been inspired uh, the bright colours attract children pretty well, so maybe it's just a design feature there. One problem I had, and that could just be my system, but I don't think it was, is that I don't think the game runs too well. I'm running a GTX 1060, and when running on the auto setting chooser, it sets my graphics settings to ultra. This is fine, and I get 60fps most of the time, but randomly when I'm not moving or doing anything in particular, it'll drop to around 40fps and really disrupt what's going on. This persists even on the lowest setting, and it really confuses me as to why. The sound, which I noticed in my early playtesting, has exactly the same problems that pretty much every Unreal Engine game has, where that you can hear things that are beside you really well, but you have no clue if anything's above or below you. Otherwise, I really like it. It's pretty clear and easy to hear. Now onto the engine, which I feel is a really good tool, and they're constantly iterating on it and adding new tools for developers to use. The engine's really easy to use, it has a lot of documentation, which, it might be written in a language a bit too complex for children to understand, but I'm sure there'll be actual tutorials for that. However, at the moment, there isn't many tutorials, especially ones from the community, which is a reason why I like Unity so much, being that there's a strong community constantly providing information when you need it. And the kind of, you get that with Core, but there isn't as many. I did meet some lovely people on the Discord server though, when I was making stuff. Everything is very easily laid out and easy to understand, and also conforms to industry standards, 
which will be good for children who move on to other tools. Level design and graphics are very easy to do, as it's just drag and drop and move a few sliders. Assets are limited to things you can kit back from models that are provided for you, of which there is a lot, but in my opinion there could be more for a game with a slogan, endless universes of games, as I don't think everything in the universe shares the same low poly style. However, the community are quite creative and you can download their content, and so from that you can get quite a lot done in terms of assets. You can actually get a lot done without any coding as well, as there's a ton of weapon systems and characters and vehicle controllers readily available that are already made by the community. However, sometimes there are things that people will just not have made, and when it comes to that you need to do your own coding. To do this, the engine uses a Lua, which you need to program. This is kind of a double-edged sword in that it's insanely easy for beginners to learn this programming language, as it's pretty similar to English. In fact, I'd say it's better than Python in terms of how easy it is to learn for beginners. It contains pretty much no complicated programmery things. But the problem resides when you actually know how to program in another language, as it's kind of non-standard. Arrays start at 1, and there isn't any semicolons at the end of lines, and from what I can see, there's no way to use classes. Overall, it's pretty hard to get used to if you've actually programmed in another language before. In fact, if you know any of the programming languages, I'll be willing to bet that Lua is not your favourite language. And in fact, if you want to look at it like that, Lua isn't even a proper programming language due to the fact it isn't technically Turing complete. However, for children to learn this, I couldn't think of a better language to choose them to get them into programming and game development. Obviously, I made a game with the engine, and I made a multiplayer third person shooter where the player gets a random weapon on spawn and has to run around the house killing people, like a free throw. It was quite easy and went pretty well. Even my tiny bit of coding that I had to do to get my stuff working went pretty okay. Overall, their engine is really good for making things, but my concern about the engine is the retention of creators. How are they going to keep people making things? There's no reward for them doing it, and even if they get loads of plays or likes or whatever, then they don't get any reward, and that's something that loads of other engines do have on even Roblox. For instance, Roblox has DevX, which allows you to change in-game currency that you earn from uh, selling stuff inside your game, that you can then turn that into real currency. But why would someone stay with Core if there's no incentive? I'm going to leave you with that note because I feel like the video has gone on for long enough. So overall, it sums up how I feel about Core. And feel free to leave your opinions in the comments, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.